Dave, Dave, Dave. I just, it's, it's amazing how I keep finding movies that have come out a long time ago on YouTube for free. It's unbelievable that it's like, wow, how come I've never seen this movie before? Why it took me so long? But hey, there's a thousand movies that I've seen and there's thousands of them that I still haven't seen. So movies constantly release, 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 week after week, month after month. So, but hey, you know, I love watching movies. Um, I'm not a, a hardcore movie watcher like I was last year before that because my priorities have changed. So I'm, I watch movies very slowly, meaning I can't watch a full two hour movie in one day. I would chop it up to like 10, 20 minutes a day. Yes, it's gonna take me a while, but like I said, time management, priorities, super crucial for me nowadays. But anyways, Dave, it's, on, it's free on YouTube. The movie came out in May 1983, May, one of my favorite months of the year. Why? My birthday. Um, basically, I was two year, almost two years old when this movie came out. This movie is a fun and enjoyable movie. This is actually the first time that I saw a, a movie where I see Vin Rames with hair because I'm accustomed to seeing all of his movies without hair. And this is the first time I got to see Vin Rames with hair. And honestly, I prefer him being bald. I think this is one of those last movies that he made with hair because he was in Pulp Fiction and he was bald. So, and Pulp Fiction came out in 94. So yeah, they was probably one of the last ones that you see him with hair. Kevin Klein, he is outstanding. He is the lead protagonist in this movie. He portrays two um, characters in this movie. One as President Bill Mitchell and the other one as Dave Kovic. I believe that Kevin Klein is a very underrated lead actor and he should get more props for his acting ability. The acting is superb in this movie. Him as well as Sigourney Weaver, I think that's how you pronounce her first name. I always struggle with it. Very talented actress as well that I've always respected. Both of them, they own this movie. They have good chemistry. Every scene that they have together is phenomenal, is outstanding. The script wasn't strong, in my opinion. I feel like that was one of the weakest links of this movie, the script. But it was their performances that really carry the movie. And this movie gives you a feel-good rom-com kind of element. So there's that. Dave, in my opinion, is one of the most entertaining political, uh, political comedic films of that decade and is one of the f funniest um, political comedy films that I've ever seen. And this is definitely a movie that I'm interested in seeing it more than once because I like capturing things little by little. But this is definitely one of those movies that I recommend for anyone, especially if you're a person that that's into political or that you study political science. And if you have a sense of humor, then this movie will definitely be for you. Um, some of you might grade the movie harshly. Some might not take it as serious. But my review for this movie from one through five, I'm impressed. Obviously there's some flaws, but I'm really impressed by the production design, the setting, and most definitely the acting. So from one through five, I give it a 4.1 out of five stars. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Once again, don't forget to go to my online store, mikesprod.shop. Be safe, everyone. And may God bless each and every one of you. Like I said, Dave, catch it on YouTube for free. So take advantage of it.